Hello everyone, this is Maurizio, editor-in-chief of Embedded.com uh, and today I am uh, here at uh, Computex showing in uh, Taiwan and uh, I have the pleasure to be here with uh, Jen Herksen, Executive Vice President and General Manager of Automotive at NXP Semiconductor. Hi Jens, how are, how are you? Thanks Hi Maurizio, for being here. always fine. Good. Thank you. <laughs> thank, thank, thanks for being here. So uh, Jens, let's talk about uh, AGI. So uh, this is my first topic. How is AGI evolving and how NXP is uh, checking, is understanding the evolution. Yeah, thank you, uh, Maurizio, for the question. And, you know, you probably also joined the keynote uh, I had yesterday uh, at the Computex, and you can clearly see that the AI, and especially AI in the edge, mm -hmm. is really something that matters all of us. And so we in NXP, we do foresee clearly a future, right, where the machines and, and everything around us, basically the technology is increasingly anticipating and, and fully automated. Yep. So this environment of anticipation and automation, that really requires um, uh, the enhancement of the edge and, and the enhancements of the edge all around us. So that is basically what we see overall trending. And um, uh, like I also said, you know, Quite a bit of AI technology will remain in the cloud, but quite a lot has to move into the edge just simply to make it part of our real life. And that is the area where explicitly NXP is moving into and where we are focusing on. And our role is here to bring this to reality. So that really requires the hardware, it requires the software, it requires tools. So we consider ourselves as a solution provider to help to bring really the AI to reality, especially at the edge. Good, indeed. Let's uh, analyze a specific uh, uh, industry shift, key industry shift, emerging trend that you see for the next uh, months, for the next uh, times, and how is uh, NXP positioning itself to, to lead? Yeah, absolutely, clearly. You know, I think um, uh, the industry is increasingly digitizing, right? So that is what we are seeing. And uh, if you drive innovation these days, you need basically two things. You need software and you need semiconductors. And this is uh, where we are positioned pretty well because we are increasingly also combining both. And what we basically see is, and now I speak largely from an automotive perspective, this digitization basically means that the, the car, the vehicle, and also in other areas, the entire applications are increasingly defined more from a software perspective. So you need increasingly also more central compute power where you are then separating the, the functionality from the hardware and run it centrally on the central compute. But then this is not enough. If this is really an application that's connected to reality, you need the network, the connectivity, you need the power management, all this is required, and so the key trends are clearly for the car, the self-driving car, right, or the ADAS functionality, then of course the electrification will continue, increasingly connectivity will play an important game, and so these are very strong areas where we are focusing on. Yeah, indeed, so the semiconductor industry is moving towards connectivity, sustainability, autonomy, uh, so, um, what is the, the outlook in this, in this case? Because we are moving in terms of opportunities, in terms of challenges. Uh, so, what is, uh, as an executive manager, yeah. the outlook for industry? Yeah. So, overall, um, like I said, you know, semiconductors will play an increasingly important role in this entire trend of digitization, right? And uh, so, the content growth of semiconductors in all of the applications mm -hmm. is massive. And if you, again, take an example out of my direct area of responsibility, which is automotive, while well, maybe from 24 to 27, the light vehicle production is just growing by 2%, maybe, you know, the content growth is significantly stronger from a semiconductor perspective. And if you think about the introduction of the software-defined vehicle, so some sort of central compute that's growing in the same time frame with 48%, according to our expectation, the electrification continues with approximately 20% and so on. And, you know, also the ADAS functions are massively growing. And so this is driving content. That has got a very positive impact on the overall industry. Of course, there are always macro, um, which is impacting this a little bit, and it's also always a little bit cyclic become, because we come from a gigantic growth time. So now it's a little bit softening, but you know, in the longer run, it will be definitely significantly growing because of the content growth. Software defined vehicle, indeed, is, uh, is another big topic. So, with the integration of TT Tech Auto Motion Wise into NXP platform, so how do you see this uh, combined uh, solution 
accelerating the adoption of a software-defined vehicle in terms of uh, uh, architecture among the different OEMs, but also how so what new capabilities would also unlock the, uh, for, our, for automakers if we are talking in terms of safety, in terms of over-the-air updates, uh, security, and, uh, and so on? Yeah, I think you touched a very good point. You know, originally, from a semiconductor perspective, we were focusing on hardware, right? Mm -hmm. But like I have said, you know, hardware is not all you need. You need basically a combination of hardware and software. And so the TT Tech acquisition is a really a very visionary move from our perspective to complement our hardware solutions by software. So this enables us to really step up to become truly a solution provider and understand the requirements from the customer much better. And so now, like I said, also the hardware we develop needs to be defined way more from a software perspective. So, and this is why we are really needing this insight from a software a perspective because the complexity of integrating these systems bring the hardware the software together and manage all this complexity is a real challenge for our customers so this is a key element of our core right platform where we have the processing platform the data and the energy network and the software so that we really pre-integrate the software into our hardware solutions to really become the solution provider this hopefully helps to speed up and drive innovation in conclusion, very fast, what key message you would like to give to our audience? Well, I always said that, you know, for driving innovation, especially in high tech, you need two things. You need semiconductors and you need software. So let's make it work. Thank you. Thank you so much, Jens. Thank, Thank you, Maurizio. My pleasure. Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks.